Yo, what's up? My name is Rich. Welcome back to another video. In this video right here, we're gonna make some business cards. So I'm honestly, I'm honestly not a big fan of business cards. I'm very, I was gonna say old school, but old school is business cards. I'm very, I like to connect really quick. Um, if I'm gonna work with you, I'm gonna get your phone number right on the spot. And that's pretty much it. That's the quickest exchange that needs to be done. Um, most of the time, when you give somebody a business card, even if it's nice, you know, it can end up in the trash, obviously. And especially if it's paper. Well, right here, I have some metal ones. It's actually a lot thinner than I thought. I ordered the wrong size, but it's still metal. And I also ordered the wrong color, but this will do for now. So what we're going to do is die sublimate some cards, but what we're gonna do is a little bit different. We're not just gonna put our contact information on here, although we can. Um, what we're going to do is add a QR code on here. So as soon as we hand this to the person, or we don't even necessarily have to hand it to our prospect customer or whoever we want to exchange details contacts with um, they can just scan it and go ahead and save the phone number in their phone and say hey go ahead and text me real quick or call me real quick so I can get your phone number you know so what we're gonna do is make a QR code now we're gonna go to this free QR code generator and create a V card now there are way different ways that you can also leverage this you can make them go directly to a website you can make them go to your own V card website where it's your contact information as a landing page you can make them see an image you can make them there's all kinds of things you can do with a QR code right but for this one, we're just gonna make it save your contact. So we're gonna go to this QR code website and we're gonna create a V card. We're gonna put in all of our information, our name, our phone number, and all of the contact details that we want the person to have. Now, once we have our QR code, we're going to go ahead and make our business card design along with this. So we're gonna go ahead and put this into Photoshop and we're just gonna go ahead and get this design ready for print. But you know what else we can do if we're not creating it ourselves we can just go ahead and get printed on whatever business card website we want to get it printed on obviously business cards are practically pretty easy to get printed just go on Google and get them printed but in this case we're gonna make it ourselves and we're gonna make it on metal next time I do want to order some thicker cards and I want to order some white cards so I can make the entire thing black this is metal well it's not metal it's silver it looks pretty cool well, it is metal, but it's, it's just very thin. We're going to go ahead and gang this up and print this out on our die cell animation printer. And while that's printing out, let's go ahead and check out our sponsor for this video, which is Zyro. Yo, so check it out. Zyro is a website builder that lets anyone create amazing websites and launch professional online stores with no coding or web design skills. Be sure to use my link down below for a limited time deal. Get an exclusive discount plus a custom domain and three months free with any yearly plan. Zyro is really fast, easy to use, and has 24 seven support. And when I say affordable, I really mean affordable. This is literally one of the most affordable, it's probably the most affordable uh, platform on the web. So check it out, you can build fast, grow faster. It's just really easy to build a website. You can use their AI website generator, start from scratch, or even use a template. I love templates. So I found this template right here for a resume. I can literally click on this image right here and change it to my own. He kind of looks like me, right? <laughs> so I could probably use his image. But anyways, I'm going to upload my own. Now that I have my image uploaded, all I need to do is change my name right here. The thing that I love the most about Zyro is that it's very easy to drag and drop things. I don't know why other platforms make it so hard to drag and drop, but check it out. You see their little grid system? That's what makes everything worthwhile. Zyro makes it very easy to customize a web page to your own liking. And maybe you don't like it when a website is easy to use, it's fast loading, has 24 seven live chat support. You know, they have a 30 day money back guarantee. Use code hustle ninjas or click the link and get an exclusive discount plus a custom domain and three months free with any yearly plan. Make sure you check out Zyro. So now the business card design is actually printing out of the Sawgrass dye sublimation printer. All right, so check it out. I got them all ganged up on this sheet of paper right here. There's a dye sublimation paper. And I think to print like a whole sheet is typically like 15, 20 cents or so. I forgot the math on the paper, but I know for one of these prints alone, it's like a few pennies. Maybe I'll put the cost on screen. I think I paid around 20 bucks for a hundred of these. But um, like I said, they are the lighter ones. However, 
we're getting each card for like a few pennies but we don't even need that many cards because like i said what i do like about this as well is that you don't have to carry a whole bunch of them even if you're going to a networking event you don't have to crowd your pocket your pockets with hundreds of cards in your pockets because you know you can pretty much recycle them you can hand a few over and maybe keep like let's say keep two or three on you the ones that you want to impress the most let them have it if not just let them scan it and then that's pretty much it all right so what i'm gonna do is tape each one of these to these spots with some heat transfer tape like so i honestly don't even want to do these many because i'm not keeping these cars i'm just doing this for the actual video well i might keep a few Whenever you make your design as well, make it a little bit larger than the actual card itself. Alright, so I'm only doing half of them, just in case I mess up or something. Alright, so I'm at 390 for about 50 seconds. I'm going to get my craft paper. I'm going to go ahead and take my cards. I'm just going to lay it down just like this. And then it's going to go for about 390 at 50 seconds. All right, so you do want to be careful because it's going to be hot, especially since it is metal. So when you pick it up, just lift it off of the heat press first. Let it cool down before you actually pull the paper off. All right, so it's been a few seconds. Let's see how it looks. Oh, it actually looks pretty good. Even though I didn't get the white, the metal actually turns out pretty nice. Yo, check that out. Can y'all see that? It's not in focus, is it? All right, so I don't even know if this entire video has been in focus, but it has some kind of tracking on it for the focus. But look at that. This is pretty dope. It's sick. I think y'all would love this. So if you have a dye sublimation printer and a heat press laying around, or if you even just want to order some metal business cards from somewhere, this is the way to go. Let's see it in action. All right, so I got my phone pulled up. There it goes. Save contact. And here you are. You can save all of this information. It's probably going to be blurred out because I actually don't want you to see this information. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's quite dope, man. I actually love it, even though I'm not a fan of business cards. So, also, what you can do if you do want to hand it over to somebody, not everybody is tech savvy. Um, at this day and age, kind of everybody is, but not necessarily, I want to say, the older crowd. So with that being said, you can still add your information on here as well. You know, you can customize this however you want. You can put your uh, QR code on one side and your typical contact on one side. Put the QR code on the right side and then put the information on another side. So it's pretty much that simple. I hope y'all like this video. Comment, like, subscribe. I'm going to see y'all next time.